everybody. It's John with John Sports. How's it going? What's coming out to you with a brand new video? How's everyone doing out there today on the YouTube Universe? Got something kind of cool today. Something old. And um, close to vintage. Got 1983-84 Vachon hockey cards. What is Vachon, you may be asking? They are a Canadian, like, pastry cake company. And they came out with these cards. And I guess they were in, um, I don't know if they were in the boxes, the actual packages of the Vachon uh, pastry cakes. But they're cool. It's a set of 140 total cards in this release. Now, this is a lot that I purchased on um, on eBay. It took almost two weeks to get here. I'm not going to say who the seller is. And I'm not... Uh, well, I guess they kind of package this up better than, than the last couple times I've gotten stuff from this seller. Um, but sometimes I've gotten vintage cards from them, and they're not package like this so but they did a seems like a semi-decent job now these are the panels so these came in like originally panels with two cards um on each panel and uh yeah they've gone up in value over the last few years so my my the reason i purchased these was because um i wanted to uh have some for my collection and then also add something really cool and unique to the eBay store. So you may see some of these up there. And I'm also looking for the Wayne Gretzky card, which I'm not sure if it's going to be in here or not. Um, it's card number 26, and he shares it with another player. I can't remember who that is on top of my head. But there's the first batch right there. And then let's get the second one out of the... There we go. There we go. All right, so we're going to look through these and see, first of all, what they look like, because they look pretty damn cool. And then we're going to see if there's anything. Well, we're looking at that Gretzky. That's what we're looking for. So these are all the Canadian teams of that time. Uh, so you had the uh, Quebec Nordiques. You had the Edmonton Oilers, Calgary Flames, Montreal Canadiens, the uh, Winnipeg Jets, Toronto Maple Leafs. So am I missing anybody? Uh, let me see teams. Let's go over here. Just looking at trading card database. So Winnipeg Jets, Vancouver Canucks, Toronto uh, Maple Leafs. I said Blue Jays. Hope I didn't say Blue Jays. Quebec Nordiques, uh, Montreal Canadiens, Edmonton Oilers, and Calgary Flames. Let me see if I can, how I can get this open. It's got to be a better way. Boy, they really sealed this up, didn't they? Hold on. I thought this would be fast. And it's not going to be fast. Well, at least they package it properly. Like I said, the last time it was really bad that I got from the seller. They sent all these vintage cards out to me, and um, they were not penny sleeved, and they were like just, you know, in their raw state. And um, with, with, with a piece of cardboard, they weren't team bagged or anything. I was like, oh my God. And they weren't cheap either. So I was very disappointed with that. So this has definitely turned out to be a little bit better but more of a pain to get these open than I expected. So let's just see if I can cut this a little bit more. I wonder if these are the, uh... no, this has to be packaged up by them, I'm guessing, or unless it came like this, maybe it came like this. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, almost done, folks. Sorry about the delay with this. So all this plastic wrap, and I'm trying to be gentle with these cards. Now the first one's out. All right, let's take a look. These are really cool. So these are the panels. So two cards per panel, and you're going to see, like, Hall of Famers in here. You're going to see players that... <laughs> I watched one video, and his quote was, players that shouldn't even have gotten a card or would not have gotten a card. And... Um, like Dave Ferris, for example, may not have gotten a card in the OP. Well, he might have gotten an OPG uh, card, but maybe not a top. So here's the back, and these are in phenomenal shape. Now, these were near mint to mint, so near mint mint, so eights and up. And um, now the ones I've seen graded are you just have the single card, so I'm not sure if like PSA or SGC or um, CSG uh grades these panels or not but there's the first one and that's just card number so they're just they're just random but they're i don't think there's anything different i don't think you're going to see michelle goulet and larry robinson on a card together i think this is one you're going to see so michelle goulet and gene hamel robinson and farish 
Bo Berglund and Guy Carboneau. These are really cool. These are awesome. I had not um, heard of this release before, and then I uh, just happened to stumble across the auction and ended up getting it for like super low. I don't think anyone was paying attention to it. You got Daniel Bouchard and Kent Carlson, Brian Ford and Bob Gainey. Here's Michelle Goulet again and Jean Hamel. So we might see some doubles in here because it was a lot. Um, instead of 100 cards, Dale Hunter and Mark Hunter. I guess in the Hunter brothers there. I think they were those are two guys were brothers. Tony McKegney, one of the, uh, I think it was like the only African-American or African, I think he's from Canada. Is he from Canada? Um, he is, born in Quebec. So, and Craig Ludwig is on the bottom here. But I think he was the only, um, I guess you can call him African-Canadian player in the league at that time, I believe. Randy Muller, Pierre Mondou. You got uh, Willie Paymon up there, Mats Nasland. And now, it says there's no rookies in this release. And there's the Vachon logo, too, by the way. And I love this. This is awesome. You got the red and the blue. The swoopy action going on on here. And uh, just really cool stuff. But um, there technically are no rookies in this. Although there might be like a rookie. Uh, some of these might be the rookie seasons from these players. Chris Nyland and Pat Price. Norman Rochefort and Greg Pazlowski. For the Canadians and the Nordiques, Andre Savard and Larry Robinson. Was he on the first one or was it different? It was, oh no, maybe they do uh, come differently. I guess I was incorrect in saying that. So you got Robinson and Savard on that one, and then uh, Robinson on that first one too. Louis Slegel and Richard Savigne. Steve Shutt and one of the Stasny brothers, Anton Stasny. I wonder if Peter's in here. I didn't look that closely at the checklist. There's Marion Stasny. Uh, and Bobby Smith for Minnesota North Star. Then I went on to the Canadiens. Ryan Walter, John Martin Van Boxmeer, Rick Walmsley, and Wally Weir. I recognize all these names. I was really into hockey during this time. Uh, Blake Wesley, Doug Wickenheiser. Basically started in 1978-79 collecting hockey cards. I have some 77s. Eventually got the set. Uh, it's Guy Lafleur, rest in peace, and Mario Marois. Um, But started really collecting in 78, 79, 79, 80. Here's Robinson Savard again. And then throughout the 80s, collecting you know, your OPG and, and uh, tops and eventually stopped. Um, I had not purchased hockey cards, so I started the channel again. Grip Hazlowski and Rochefort again. There's Dave Semenko, Edmonton Oilers, and Dave Williams. Our, I think it's our first Vancouver Canuck with the Flying V jersey. Kevin McCarthy and Willie Lindstrom. So we're getting some run of Oilers here. Are we going to see this Gretzky or not? I, I highly doubt we're going to get Gretzky in here. Um, I think this person maybe bought this and pulled that one out. I'm not sure. Dave Williams again and Semenko, but you do have Yari Curry right here. And uh, Gary Lupo. So Yard Curry, Hall of Famer, that's a good one, though, to get. Tom Ralston, Tony Tanti, another Yari Curry, so a couple of them. Got Pat Hughes on this one, Doug Hallward. Dave Hunter, I think the third Hunter brother. And then uh, Mark Kirton for, the, for, for Vancouver. Willie Lindstrom again, and Kevin McCarthy. Ken Linsman, the Rat. And Lars Molin, Yaroslav Puzar, and Patrick Sundstrom. Very cool. Tom Wallace again, Tony Tanti, Dave Williams, and Dave Semenko, Dave Babich, and Greg Terrian. Dave Babich, not in the Hall of Fame, but a great defenseman for the Winnipeg Jets. Love that love the Jets had their jersey. Purchased it from the my family got it for me as a gift when I was a kid. I still have it. Uh, purchased it directly from the team because, you know, the internet wasn't around then and you had to go directly to these teams back then. Lucien Dubois, 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 and then Ricky Vive up top with the Maple Leafs. Rick St. Croix, Dale Howard Chuck. What a uh, second year card, I think, for him. Rest in peace, Mr. Howard Chuck. Hall of Famer right there, one of my favorites. 
Here's Babbage again, but this time we have Greg P. Terry on up top. Dale McCourt and Tony Tanti. They're switching it up a little bit with the Vancouver Canucks and the Maple Leafs now. It's Tanti again and McCourt again, a third one. Thomas Gradin, great player right there, and Terry Martin. You've got Mary Manoa and Jim Corn, Dale Hunter and Billy Harris. Uh, Mary Manoa again, Jim Corn again, done the double. Gary Nyland and Richard Brodeur, great goaltender, not a Hall of Famer. I think Wayne Gretzky scored the most goals on him. That's what I was reading. But I liked Richard Brodeur a lot. And he made the all-star team, and he was a really good goaltender and played for a bunch of other different teams. I think um, the Islanders, let me see if I still have him pulled up here. I do. I was actually looking at him. The Islanders, Canucks, and Hartford Whalers. So, and he started out with the uh, Quebec Nordiques. There's Gardine and Martin again. McCourt and Tanty again. John Anderson and Mark Messier. That's a good one. Nice. All right. You got Yari Curry again with Jim Benning. This time Curry's down below. Dan Doust. Paul Coffey, another Hall of Famer. You got Borja Salming, Hall of Famer right here, and Paul Reinhardt. These are wonderful. And then our last few are Landy McDonald, I believe is a Hall of Famer, and Mike Palmatier. Um... And then hit doubles of that one. So those are beautiful. These cards are sensational. Oh, my gosh. Let's open up the second one. So I can go through it a little bit quicker. Hopefully, I won't struggle with this, but I've made. But this has been really cool so far, I must say. Just, And they did package this up very nicely. I have to give them credit for that. Now, I don't know if that was, the, if that was a seller or if that was... Um, the you know the, uh, the the consigner or the eBayer seller who did the, did the wrapping of this, but they did a really nice job. And this one opens a lot better, a lot nicer. Okay, now can we find that Gretzky in this batch? So let's see. Got Kevin Lowe and Jim Neal, another yard Curry, Gary Lupul, Peter Stasty, Mario Tremblay. Alain Cote and Gilbert Delorme, the Canadians in the Quebec Nordiques. Paul Reinhardt, Boris Salmi again. Walt Pudubny and Kent Nielsen. Nielsen was really good for the uh, for the Calgary Flames. Reinhardt and Salmi again. There's Paul Mentier, Lady McDonald. There's some more doubles. Mickey Volcan and Tim Young. Robert Picard and Colin Patterson. Kent Nielsen, Brian Mullen. I think um, it's Joey Mullen's brother, I believe. Andrew McBain, Landy McDonald. Jimmy McCoon and Mo Mantha. Great defenseman there. Played for the Penguins, too, but I liked Mo. I thought he played for the Penguins. Um, let me just look that up. I'm, I'm going I'm to say something dumb that I didn't... Didn't, but I thought he played for my pan, my Penguins, and I was really happy. Oh, man. The, let's see. Senior. He's a politician? <laughs> uh, that can't be him. Wait a minute. No, that's not him. There must have been a senior, his father. Let me see. Oh, man. The, Junior. So he's junior. There's a senior. Okay. He played for the Penguins. That's what I thought. And I was really excited. He played for Edmonton and Minnesota and the Flyers. But when we got him, I was like really stoked. And I think the, the Penguin fans are really not the nicest to that guy. But he was a good player. Paul McLean and Hawken Lube. Reggie Lemelin. And Ben. I think, well, it's, I'm going to say Ben Lundholm, but I don't know if that's how you say his first name there, but I do remember him for the Jets. Doug Sol, Sol, Sol Tate, Paul Reinhardt, Jim Paplinski, and Doug Smale, Tim Waters, and Steve Tambellini, New Jersey Devil player too as well. Doug Riseboro, Thomas Steen, great player there for the Jets. Mike Eves and Wade Campbell again. Steve Bozak and Lori Boschman. Uh, Dave Babich and Eddie Beers, Paul Baxter, great defenseman, played for my Penguins as well, dealt him off, uh, Scott 
Arnold. Arniel. Arnold. Morris Lukovic, great player for the Winnipeg Jets and Steve Conroy. And uh, but this is a really, these are really cool. Mickey Volkan again, Tim Young, Eddie Beers, Dave Babich, Donnie Edwards, Buffalo Sabre goaltender, but here with their flames. Lucien Dubois Dubloy. Dale Howarchuk again and Kerry Elorenta. Dave Hinmarch. I don't remember him, but I do remember Brian Hayward. Um, decent goaltender for the Jets. Jim Kite and Jamie Hisloff. Eddie Beers again. Dave Babich. Doug Riseborough and Thomas Steen. Riseborough again. Steen, a third one. Conroy and Lukowicz again. Kite and Hisloff. Peplinski and Smale. McDonald and Andrew McBain. Riseborough and Steen. There's Paul Coffey again. With Yuri Dubla. So I'm glad we got those. Here's Lee Fogelin. I always said Fogelin. I always mispronounce his last name. And Garth Butcher. But he was a really good defense. I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame. Grant Fuhrer, there's a Hall of Famer. And Ron DeLorme. There's a Hall of Famer right there in Grant Fuhrer. What, a, what an unbelievable goaltender. I, I, I misspoke with Tony McKegney. There, he was the other Canadian... Um, uh, African Canadian uh, player, you know what I'm saying? Yari Curry, Gary Lupo, Willie Lindstrom, and Kevin McCarthy, Dave Semenko, Dave Williams, the Tiger Williams, Dave Tiger Williams, Gary Lupo, and Yari Curry again. Multiple Yari Currys here in a row. Beautiful stuff. Another Guy Lafleur. So even if we don't don't see the Gretzky in here, we've got some really big names. There was a Messi, I think, in that first stack, and he got multiple Curries here. He got a Grand Fear now showing up. Guy Lafleur, another Hall of Famer, here, Mary Tremblay, Gavin St uh, Stewart, Gavin, Michel Goulet, and Gene Hamel, Bobby Smith, and Miroslav Freiser. That's the first time we we're seeing him. Here's Goulet again, and Gene Hamel, another one, another one, and we end with Blake Wesley and Doug Wickenheiser. But this was awesome. And again, you'll see some of these doubles showing up at the store, and I'm going to go through these. I'm going to see about if any of these are worth getting graded, but these were really cool, and I'm glad I picked them up. I did not pay a lot for them, but they, like I said, they can hold some value. The Gretzky one's the most valuable. But I believe like Messier and, and Coffee, and there's some other good ones in here too that, that do hold value. So that was the uh, 384 Vachon uh, hockey lot. Not the complete set, but... Um, Really cool stuff. Let's just flip this one over. You have to admire um, the uh, Canadian releases as a whole. LPG, this one. There might have been, there's another, I think, release that, that has come out uh, in the past up in Canada. But they do a really, really good job on these hockey cards, you know, when they came out. They're vintage now. But the stock was always really cool to me. Um, so LPG, and these, this is awesome. It has a different kind of a color to it but you can see a little bit of a rough cut here but i think it's due to the blade well with peachy it was due to the blades in their machines i finally found out um not not a wire not a wire cut that was like a, a an urban legend that was going around forever and then i kind of got it verified by um by a by a hockey card aficionado that uh, is on because i'm carlos's and his name is slipping my mind right now he's on because i'm carlos's uh, live streams all the time but he verified that uh it was the blades that uh, OPG uses that makes these makes these cuts rough. So anyway, I just want to let you guys uh, see this today. Hope you really enjoyed it. It was wonderful. And again, you'll see some of these cards show me, showing up on the eBay store. So look out for those if you're interested. Otherwise, these are going to be going into the collection, and then maybe some will get graded. We'll see. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Really, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. Our eBay store link is down below in the description. And please go check out our eBay store. Support us over there. We need your help all the time. Keep the lights on here. Uh, and the household keep the channel running and the eBay store is our business and helps things roll on so go check out the eBay store the links down below in the description that's all I got for you guys today thanks again everybody for stopping by this is John Dunn Sports Lovable signing off and hey I'll see you all soon